everyone and welcome to a new vlog. Today we're going to sport check because I will be going back to skating. So if you don't know, I used to be a figure skater and every year we used to have an ice show at my club and um, I think it was like right as the pandemic started, 2020, we were supposed to have the 60th anniversary and at that point obviously I wasn't skating, I was like a retiree. Um, and they had called me to come back and anyways, long story short, they are finally doing the 60th post pandemic and I am going back. Um, one of the callback skaters, so they bring back some of the, like, the younger skaters, well, the younger people who used to be skaters and I'm one of them. So I'm dropping off my skates to be sharpened. They are, yeah, they're back there. They're really beat up. But anyways, I have hard guards on them, which are these things to protect the blades. And I lost my soft guards. Soft guards are better because they protect the blade. You don't want any rusting to occur to your blades. Um, and I can't find them. So we are stopping to find some soft guards. I have none at my house. So I'm gonna go buy some before I take them to get sharpened. I'm gonna take them to the rink and one of my old coaches is gonna give them a good sharpen before practice on Saturday because they are so dull. I skated on them, I think last year, but they are atrocious. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna get some new guards. Hopefully we can find some good ones. There's no skating stores around here. So we're just gonna do a regular old sport check. playing music but we found some very ugly hockey soft guards they have some weird ugly look at that howie's skate guards they're meant for hockey skates but they'll work so now we're on our way to the rink i'm gonna drop them off and actually i should probably change them right now but yeah that's the plan they're fantastic thank you My filming might be a little concerning. Oh, Why? I'm zooming by accident. Oh yeah, that fits. So the soft guard's right there. It's my other skate. Here we go. So my beautiful skates. Now I'm gonna take them in. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Get out with all this stuff. Yeah, I'll pass them too. <laughs> oh, it smells bad around here. <laughs> <laughs> the water treatment plant is There's just over there. quite cold in there. Um, I just caught up with a couple coaches that I hadn't seen in forever, but I'm just walking now to the car uh, to meet Jack. Oh my god, I'm so cold. This is cold out there. Oh my god. All right, we are supposed to be meeting up with a friend, but we have some time to kill, so we're gonna go into the antique shop. We are at Southworks, which is one of my favorite antique shops in Cambridge. Oh, that thing just hit me from the place. <laughs> Let's go. Also got ourselves some Timmy's tea. Are you not bringing your coffee? No, I need to let it cool down. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do the same. to the new Reformation store in Yorkville. It finally, finally opened. 
and they have actually invited me to come check it out which is really exciting because it's a store that I love and it's nice to have one um, in the downtown core because there is one in Yorkville but that's a little bit further away from the downtown core so there she is oh so exciting Room and there's so many cool features in here. I have to show you, first of all, this massive mirror with great lighting, which <laughs> you can actually adjust. And you want cool, uh, warm, warmer. You can kind of see it changing in the camera and hot lighting. Let's check out the hot lighting. Yeah, nice and hot. <laughs> and then all your clothes gets put in here. You can have everything is here. And what my favorite part is, in this little iPad, you can say, pick an item, pick your size, um, order it, and it'll be brought in here. You don't have to leave your dressing room. You don't have to ask anybody for help. I think it's just ingenious. So let's try some stuff on. This is the first skirt that I wanted to try on. I love the little slit in the front. Now my only complaint would be this button situation. It's kind of like this new modern crisscross situation and it's a trend. So I'm not trusting on this particular style to be um, around for a super long time. So that's my only little complaint there. But otherwise, the skirt fits quite nice. I don't know, what do we think? Finished up at Reformation and we're now gonna have breakfast, brunch at Flo's Diner. It's a little tiny um, diner in your film, it's so cute, but we're gonna be there now. Getting in the elevator to go to the nail salon and see Grace and get my nails done because they are just a hot mess. Even Jack was like, Sam, your nails. I'm like, I know. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna sit, have a cup of tea, and catch up with Grace and get my nails done. So woohoo! <laughs> Nails are all done. This is the color Haven by Luxio. It's not CND anymore, just because Majesty's Pleasure isn't carrying CND anymore, but this color is just as beautiful. Jack is, um, <laughs> sorry, cute, thanks. Jack is at the apartment with our friend Josh because we are getting all together. And then I think another friend of ours who actually used to be Josh's roommate up in Ottawa, um, is coming over after work and I think we're all just gonna go out maybe grab some drinks and just have a good time together Because like I said Josh lives in Ottawa So when he's down here, we make a point to all get together and I feel like that's just a Part of growing up you have to like prioritize your friendships and the people that you care about So yeah, but I'm just gonna walk back now and um, See what the boys are up to <laughs> Just got home, well almost home, but I picked up some protein powder at a little wellness store and um, just heading up, I have to pee so badly. <laughs> 
Um, but I'm not sure what we're doing once I get back. I think the guys are hanging out and we might um, sit down for a bit. I'm gonna make a smoothie because I'm hungry. And um, yeah, I don't know when we'll go out. wondering why I'm not in my usual filming place. That's because I'm actually at my parents house and I didn't get a chance to show you what I got at Reformation. So I wanted to show you what I picked up at the Reformation boutique in Yorkville and I'm very excited. Let's start with the piece that I'm wearing because well I liked it so much that I wore it instantly but this is the cashmere boyfriend sweater and i actually have this one in two other colors i have it in brown i have it in orange one was sent to me in pr i purchased the other one because i really liked it and now i got a third color and for me this is like my ideal sweater first of all it's cashmere so it's a great fabric and on top of that it is a very like relaxed fit i own this one in a size small and extra small and I can't quite decide what size I prefer better. I think I prefer the extra small better. I got this one in a size small because I didn't have any in the extra small but it is a perfect, perfect fit. It's very relaxed, very loose, super, super soft. It's just a perfect, classic piece. This is the boyfriend cashmere sweater and I'm just wearing it with some simple little um, trousers. These are actually my Conan trousers from Aritzia. I just love this sweater. It is so comfy and it feels amazing on the skin. I wanted that kind of like classic style with the stripes um, and it is quite long as you can see really really comfy but because it's a nice thinner cashmere it tucks really nicely into pants like that and just kind of drapes perfectly that like this swear this is one of the sweaters that you will have in your wardrobe for years and years and years because the style is classic and the quality is amazing i just love this sweater so much even my mom was like sam don't you already have like three of these sweaters i'm like yes but i love it i love it so much oh so good now the next thing I picked up is actually a pair of jeans. I've actually never tried any Reformation denim on before and I have to say, I was quite impressed. My one complaint would be is that their sizing is quite inconsistent. So like I have two uh, pieces of denim here and one of them is a size 25 and the other one is a size 26 and they fit quite differently. So definitely their sizing is inconsistent which makes it a little bit harder when shopping online and considering that Reformation is almost is quite heavily online it makes it a little bit difficult to shop But hopefully this can help you a little bit. So the first ones that I picked up Are the Liza ultra high-rise straight jeans and I got these ones in a size 26 and the I think this is the color in the color Malta So just a really nice classic light wash jeans I feel like I didn't quite have a lot of light wash jeans this color that I loved. I have a pair from Michael Kors that are really, really baggy that I love, but they're more of a baggy fit and not a straight leg. So I got these and I have to say, they fit so beautiful. I will put them on to show you. Um, they really, really fit beautifully around the waist and my hips and the denim isn't too, too stiff. So it is comfortable on my legs. The only unfortunate thing with these are is that I'm gonna have to get them hem. I did roll them up when I tried them on, but like you can see here, they have a classic hem. So I will be taking these to get hemmed so I don't have to roll them up. I'm gonna show you them rolled up, but um, I just, I really, really fell in love with the wash, the fit, everything about these. I really, really like, and you guys know me. I'm very picky with jeans because I don't, I don't enjoy wearing jeans unless they are comfortable. Now for the jeans, I just um, paired this with my Lily Silk shirt, but 
these are the jeans and I wanted to show you them both at their regular length and at the like kind of rolled up length. Like I said, I'm gonna hem them to this length. Um, this length is just a little bit awkward on me. Um, I feel like if you're taller though, I am 5'3", the length will be just fine. I wanted to show you how beautifully they fit on the waist and hips. So, so lovely, so smooth, no digging in anywhere. Like I said, I'm wearing a size 26 and they fit just absolutely amazing. When it comes to jeans, I feel like a good fitting jean is so hard to come by and these are truly, truly wonderful. Like these are the types of jeans that you want to put on your body. That is one of the reasons why I'm only ever wear like my totem jeans. It's because I actually want to put them on and wear them. And these I feel like are gonna be competition to my totem jeans. They just look so, so lovely on. I'm honestly not even hating this length. But uh, I am going to hem them. <laughs> Absolutely love these jeans. They are just awesome. When I was in the store, I really made a point to try on some of their basic pieces. So we're talking like tanks, bodysuits, um, turtlenecks, because I know that Reformation is known for their dresses. Obviously, they have beautiful dresses. I personally love them for their cashmere. I think their knitwear, specifically their cashmere knitwear, is but I wanted to try some basics because I was looking for some basics. And I actually ended up going, I actually took the tag off of this because I already wore it. <laughs> but this is just a classic cotton, um, I don't know why I said that so funny, cotton, cotton, um, kind of like mock turtleneck. And I absolutely love it. Um, this one is, it is just a really beautiful, soft cotton. Um, because it is a bit of a mock neck, it doesn't go up super, super high, so it's comfortable to wear. And it is the most perfect, perfect length. It is not super, super long. It is not cropped, meaning it is perfect to tuck in comfortably into pants, anything like that. It is also the perfect layering piece. These are the pieces that I need in my wardrobe because in the winter, I will put something like this under a knitted sweater if I'm going out for a long walk, and that is how I keep myself warm. Um, and recently I tried purchasing some uh, basics from H&M and after a couple washes they completely just like broke apart. So that is why I turned to Reformation to see if I could find something that was going to last and the quality of this is just beautiful. I mean all the, the stitching, the seams, the fabric feels amazing. So I will link this one below. Unfortunately, I don't have the tag with the name on it, but I did get this one in an extra small. Um, I would have fit just fine in, in a small, but I just wanted like a really nice tight fit that's good for good for layering. Just put on the black um, kind of mock neck, turtleneck on with the jeans. It's a classic timepiece, but I just felt really, really good in it. The fabric is soft, nice and stretchy, and I feel like it just hugs you in all the right places. And in terms of length, I'll show you the length of it. I feel like this is such an important thing to me. Maybe not to everybody, but that's the length of it. Which again, for tucking, is really, really important because it's not going to like go down to here and start bunching up. But it's also not cropped, so it's not going to be like lifting. So when it comes to tucking it in, it's, it's perfect. I also properly rolled up both hems on these jeans. I wanted to give you a different look at them um, if you didn't want to get these pants hemmed. Like I said, I'm 5'3", so I am on the shorter side. Um, but yeah, I just, I really, really like these. They fit so, so, so well. The next thing that I picked up, I actually picked up because I wanted to get a little bit adventurous with my wardrobe. And I, I got these being aware that they are not going to be a classic piece, but I think every so often it's okay to get a little bit adventurous with your wardrobe. And so the next thing that I picked up is the Nyla long denim skirt. So this is a skirt that you will have seen me try on. And I have to say it did really fit really, really nicely. Um, I didn't do it justice with what I was wearing in the video because I was wearing like my black um, leather boots and a black cashmere sweater. Like that is not how I would ever style this um, skirt. So I will try it on properly <laughs> at one point to show you guys, but um, 
this is a skirt but yeah I got the skirt I thought in the summer with a really nice like bodysuit or a shirt and some nice heels or sandals um, I think this would be a really really nice kind of like going out look while still being a little bit casual but two complaints with this one um, unlike the jeans, this one is a size 25, which is my usual size. Um, I'm usually, I usually wear 25 in jeans. So I will say these fit smaller. So I would say go up a size in these. Whereas with the skirt, um, very much true to size, fits really, really nicely. Um, and again, like really, really high quality denim. Yeah, really, really like it. I can't wait to show you this one on. And last but not least, we have the skirt. Now I will say this skirt fits so amazing at the waist and I feel like the little crisscross gives you a nice like cinching effect. This is my least favorite part about it, but the way that it fits on my hips just is a selling point. And again, I would just add some black heels to this, but I feel like look at this like cinching effect. I absolutely love it. I think it's so, so good. So I can't wait to style this skirt up in different ways. So follow me on Instagram because I will be styling this skirt several different ways for winter as well as spring and summer ideas. Because I think I'll be getting lots of good wear out of this. So 